Jake Waterman had to wait till the last pick of the day, but he didn't care. He's now an eagle. It's pretty surreal. Like that doesn't feel real yet. Um, yeah, it's all been a pretty big whirlwind uh, last last few days, sort of leading up to it. And um, yeah, yeah, I can't believe it. All I can do is do the best I can. See how it goes. A month and a half ago I was at training and someone stood on my foot and um, probably from then on for a few weeks I just thought it was just a bit of bruising and you know, I had to, had to put some stuff inside my boots so it didn't hurt when I kicked and then it sort of died away for a couple of weeks and then one morning after training I woke up and I just couldn't put much pressure on it and it, and it felt like it had elevated a, a bit more than what it originally was and so I just went into physios and had a quick chat to them and they just sent me in for a precautionary scan they didn't think it was going to be too serious and uh, it came back uh, pretty pretty like a lot of stress in the middle of my foot area so you know it's a gonna have to spend a fair bit of time out and you know, it's the only thing you can really do for a stress fracture in your foot is just just rest and you know let it heal and let that time pass by. <laughs> So as part of his rehab process, at the moment he's being managed in a, a boot and that's just to help deload the area and after that it's a matter of gradually building up his load to a point where he can return to running and then return to play. He showed some good signs in the pre-season and, and uh, against GWS as well. Um, he is a genuine forward who reads the play well and it's just unfortunate that he has got this minor setback but he's young and uh, he, he does need to stay positive and, and a big picture focus. It was pretty annoying watching that round one on the weekend and not being out there. It's the first time I've never been out there for round one of any year. A lot of hard pre-season sessions to sit back and watch the start of the season, do do even more hard work in the, in the gym and the upper body, and you really can't run or anything, so you feel a bit excluded from the group. But you know, if I do it right, I could come back sooner than what they, they expect. You know, how hard you take your the rehab is the extent to maybe how quickly you'll come back. So, you know, I put it that way and I just think about, you know, I'm, I'm not out there running and doing all the sessions they are, so I need to make it up by doing my, my rehab and doing my upper body stuff. And, you know, maybe using this time to put on some size and, you know, um, work on my, my mobility and stuff like that. There's a few guys in, in rehab right now and we, we've become pretty close and we really push each other to, to work on what we have to do and, and get better and get back as quick as we can. The bike you know, gives me a few nightmares, I'm not going to lie, but the worst thing in the gym is the, is the grinder. This one here on your arms, oh, there's a ton of screaming here, yeah, it's no fun. <laughs> My target's just anything pain free. I mean, I'm feeling... Not much in this boot at the moment because it's caused me a lot, giving me a lot of cushion and extra support. But I'm trying to do as many things as I can without feeling my foot, and um, that's been good so far. I haven't had any had any, had any problems to date, so just being able to get back and playing footy and hopefully playing 10 games this year would be great. Should be back just before the middle of the year, hopefully. So those are my goals.